when we think of emotional intelligence and talent assessment and then talent development, of course, they, they go hand in hand. And I think an organization that recognizes the power of emotional intelligence should use it up front with their talent assessment and bringing people in the door, not solely as their only source of basing a decision on hiring, but I think it absolutely does a great job of supplementing what they do. Once the individuals are there, I think they help them understand what their results meant and how they leverage their strengths and then look at some of their lower scores and what that might mean to them as they start their career. Whatever that job might be, here's what low impulse control means. Here's what this means as a low score on problem solving. And if they really used it once the individuals are there and used it throughout their career so they could then measure if there's progress, I think it would, would do organizations a great service to help them with recruiting the right people and then retaining them as well. Yeah, and to elaborate on that, one of the things that we've been able to do is truly help an organization look at not just using the assessment as an initial grounding level of measurement for somebody's skill sets, but to say, hey, if you were to use this in an interval at a later date, whether it be six months or 12 months or two years later, organizations have been able to really see people's progress and then help them refocus at a different point in their career. Because when you're an individual contributor, the way that you think and focus compared to when you become a manager or even maybe a senior leader, it's so different. It gives us a chance to really show that the tool and the talent assessment tool of the EQI 2.0 can be used as a foundational, but also something that can grow with that person as a, a path and a, a focus for them individually.